Hello and welcome to ChicagoParent.com's first ever installment of This is Science, a monthly series in which we do a science experiment or demonstration that you can hopefully do at home with your kids. I'm Carrie Kaufman, Chicago Parent's digital editor, and we're starting off our series appropriately enough at the Museum of Science and Industry, where I hear tell that it's a good possibility that we're going to break some eggs. So many, are we going to break some eggs today? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. We're here at the Museum of Science and Industry's super secret lab spaces, where they bring school children in to indoctrinate them with the idea that science is fun. Science is amazing. Science is amazing. Mindy Baumgartner is the chief indoctrinator. Is that your title? Sure. So what do we have here, Mindy? Um, well, I'm actually really happy you're here. I need some help. I need to get these eggs into these cups of water. Mm -hmm. And the only tool we can use is this broom. Mm -hmm. And there's a cardboard. Yeah. Thing mm -hmm. in between the eggs and the cups of Yeah. Water. So okay. it seems kind of impossible, right? Yes. Well, it's improbable. Not. Improbable. There improbable. you go. Improbable. It, we're going to do it. To do this, we need to know a little bit, of some basic concepts about science. Okay. Um, the one that we're going to talk about today is inertia. 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 Have you heard of inertia before? It's what I do every Sunday when I watch football on my couch. Okay. So, I am inert. Okay. Inert. I think it has something to do with when a body is at rest, it stays at rest. You got it. And that's what I thought. Okay. You got it. Yeah. So <laughs> basically inertia is the tendency for an object to want to keep doing what it's doing. So mm -hmm. when an object is at rest, it wants to stay at rest. Mm -hmm. If an object is moving, it wants to keep moving unless a force is acted upon it. Mm -hmm. So that is basically the concept of uh, inertia. Okay. So let's look a little bit at our uh, situation that we have here. We have some eggs, we have some paper towel rolls, we have the cups of water. If mm -hmm. I were to wind up this broom and let go, mm -hmm. what would happen? I think that everything would just spill all over onto the table. Okay. But I'm, you're telling me something different. Something different. Okay. All right. So objects have different amounts of inertia depending on how massive they are. So, mm -hmm. so let's say we have a big boulder and a tiny rock. Mm -hmm. Which one is going to be easier to move? The tiny rock. The tiny rock is going to be easier. <laughs> it has less inertia. The large boulder takes a larger force to get it to move. I see. So which object, the uh, toilet paper roll or the egg, would have more inertia? They have more inertia. It would take more force to get it to move. Yes. The egg. Egg, right. It has okay. more mass. Yes. Absolutely. So it's going to want to keep doing what it's doing more so than the paper towel rolls that we have here. I see. So if we apply a force, we're going to apply the force, get that cardboard out. Uh -huh. um, the force of friction is going to pull those paper towel rolls with it. But because that egg is massive enough to hold it, hopefully it will just fall straight down hopefully it will. into the water. Okay. All right. So you, you want to give this a try? Uh, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. The answer okay. Is yes. 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 I want to give this a try. Right. Yes. Awesome. So what you're going to do is take these four cups of water, pour them up about halfway full with water. Now, does it matter how much, how big the cups are, no, or how, how much not water you put in? At all. Fairly close to the edge of my table, right here. Okay. Perfect. Right you're going to take the piece of cardboard, mm -hmm. place it over these cups with the edge hanging off of the table. So the edge has to be off, okay. Yes, Got perfect. Okay. Uh, go ahead and set up those paper towel rolls directly above the cups of water. Oh, That's boy, really important. You want to check good. from each angle to make sure that everything is set up just right. Again, the eggs should have enough inertia that the only force they're going to feel is the force of gravity pulling them down. So I take this broom. You take the broom, um, and what you're going to do is you want that broom to hit as perpendicular as you can to this. So you, you yeah, have it. It. <laughs> it's, it's all right, we're good. So probably like right around here. So go ahead and hold on to it right there. Okay. What you're going to do is put your foot on the bristles. Foot on the bristles. <laughs> and then when you. Okay. See, I told you we were going to break some <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. We will. You can try this at home, really. Absolutely. Okay. You know, and that's the experimentation that makes this fun. Let's try it again. On the edge. Put your foot on there. Put my foot on there. So we'll bring it back just a little bit. Okay. Just my like foot it. on there. Yep. So this is acting like a lever. Yes. So now I have to make sure it's yep, perfect. Yep, that looks great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So on the count of three. One, two, three. You Woo! did it! All four in the cups. That was absolutely amazing. All right. And that is inertia. That's inertia. That is inertia. The eggs fell in the cup just like we thought that they would. They would. Science, fun, exciting. <laughs> what if What if we used hard-boiled eggs? Okay. They would be heavier. Yes. So my guess is that there would be more inertia, and they would they would drop even easier. There you go. So basically, okay. the, the the thing that we need to know is that the uh, eggs need to have that mass. Try a hard-boiled egg versus a raw egg. Does it change it at all? Okay. Try it. And what about plastic eggs? All right. So plastic eggs. <laughs> uh, what about their inertia? 
They're lighter. Yes. So it would be easier to move them. Yes, so they would probably anywhere. go flying a okay. little bit more. So what could you do to those plastic eggs? Uh, you could put things in them. There you go. So put something inside those plastic eggs. Again, try it. Try a raw egg versus a hard boiled egg versus a plastic egg versus a plastic egg with stuff inside of it. The rolls, those are, these are toilet paper rolls. Right. Um, a paper towel roll? Absolutely. You can totally do sure. that? Sure. You know, the the makes height even, of it yeah. doesn't make a difference. Again, experiment. Try it and see what happens. <laughs> That's, you know, I, that, if we had all of the answers, science would not be around.